back to the market. Andrew Cole, Don Cheney, wrapping things up for the morning. Amy Barrett, uh, Mothers and Other Liars. So let's go to a couple of quick things as a writer. So you said you wrote it off camera or off set or off sound, whatever the heck it was, uh, off off air. Thank you. Go. I wasted more of a time. We only got four minutes. Now I'm down to three minutes and 45 seconds. And you're 15 still 15 years ago? I did. I wrote the book. Did you rewrite? Have you done rewrites or did you write it and put it in a box and find it 15 years later when you came out of a coma or something? <laughs> I wrote it, I put it in a drawer, and then I pulled it out, and I did have to do a little bit of updating, like add. Why did say, you put it in a drawer for 15 years? Phones. Are you Ruby? I, you know, I'm a little bit of every character. It, it, it's kind of funny. When people who know me have read the book, they guess, oh, you know, Cousin Fred. You know, Your Cousin Fred? <laughs> that. No, they'll say, oh, Cousin that's Fred, that, that's the farting uncle. Oh. Okay, let's go back. Well, you did can, it. Can I say that on? Yeah, farting? that's right. Trust way me. better that's, than that's what happened last yeah, week. Way better. Yeah. Or they'll say, <laughs> oh, that was, I remember that incident, and it's different people. I want to go back to my question. Wait, wait, different. I'm going back because this confuses me as right. So you wrote it 15 years ago. Yes. Why didn't you send it out or do something with it 15 years ago? I sent it to a couple of agents and got some really good feedback on right. it. But then I had another story burning inside me, so I put it in a drawer. And fifteen years? That's well, a long time, dear. For me, it was about the writing, not about getting published. Oh, me, it's um, all about selling the scripts. <laughs> I got to be honest. Although I love writing, where do you write? I write in a noise. I write in noise because I like noise. Do you write in quiet places? Most people write. You know, authors. You know, I, I don't think I could write a book. To be honest with you, screenplays I can. It's all dialogue driven. I can get away with that. Well, Where do that's you write? A, that's an interesting question. When I wrote this book, I wrote it. I, I actually, I think the book was already inside me. And yeah, it, that we it all was, say that. It was just a matter of letting the words coalesce. But I Ooh, wrote coalesce. mainly walking. And huh. then when I would sit down at the computer, it would just kind of spew. So you didn't write it. What you did is you thought through the storyline walking, then you'd come down and you'd write it out. You didn't, like, take a pad uh, and write I, it. No, I walk. understand. Yeah. I write when no. I'm riding my bike. I that, totally understand what no. she's saying. Well, okay. it, gives you, it gives you something something for your mind to do to where you can get yourself out of the way did you, to did, let the did creativity you know, flow. Did you know the ending? Did you, in other words, in a screenplay, one of the things they always recommend, or they say in order to do it correctly is, you have to know all your characters, you know, what kind of shoelaces they wear, what they eat, what they drink, everything about them, and you need to know your story from A to Z. In other words, you need to know begin first act, second act, third act, you need to know all what's right. going on. Did you did you do any of that when you wrote your book? Or Heck did you just no. make it up as you go? There are some writers who outline completely. Right. For me, the fun is seeing where the story goes. She doesn't make it up as you go along. I, had, I like that style. I had the general premise, but I didn't know some of the choices Ruby was going to face, and I certainly didn't know well, the, the decision she the was going to make. The argument against that, because I just, um, the last, the thing I'm working on now, film-wise, I decided to write four pages just to kind of put it away, and now I'm up to page 75. The problem I have is I still don't know what happens at the end, and without a good ending. I have a story in my brain without a good ending, too. But that's okay. You just, you know. There's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever works for you. Well, it's what people are willing to buy if you want to sell them. Now, and you said you have another book. You finished it. You're working on it. You're I have another book that I'm working on that St. Martin's will be publishing. Oh, very impressive. And I like the fact well. that it's a saint because I like saints. <laughs> Yay, God. Get that in. Yes, St. Yeah. Martin's. All right. Yes, and I, I guess I should get in that the, the book does come out August 3rd, which is two weeks from Tuesday. Will you be doing a book signing? I am doing a book signing at Explore on Friday. Is that a bookstore in town? <laughs> Just assuming. Explore Booksellers <laughs> on Main okay. Street, Friday, August 6th at 4 p.m. Everyone is invited. It's a book launch party. we got to wrap up. Are you, will you be serving liquor? Yes. Okay. There you go. Well, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying well, to no, help. Well, no, there is yes. a contingent in this town that will go because there's free you won't liquor. Be so, no, I think that was a good beef, idea. Though, because it's a little tough to make beef there. Yeah. It, okay. It <laughs> just checking. You've been listening to At the Market. It's brought to you every week by emu.com. Uh, thanks so much to our guests, the, the ones that arrived. And uh, so Amy ha- Barrett uh, with her book, Mothers Under the Liars. Kathy Kania with a unique touch. Uh, let's go 87, uh, no, 987-3466. Let's thank all the other people that thought about coming. Chris Everett. That's right. Let's uh, thank Les back at the station. Yeah, Les, all those people. And we're back next week with a surprise guest. You're not even going to tell me? Well, that's why it's a surprise. I don't know yet. Uh Uh-oh.
Oh, God, I should have known. Thus the surprise. Very good. We're the surprise here. guest. It's you next week great on Great job. Even at recovering from a uh, the the big slice and dice, I'm very impressed with your work ethic today.